Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. I just want to take a minute to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. And for all of my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. But listen, you guys, we need to talk. We need to talk. So as you can tell from the title of this video, your girl has fallen off track. Oh my gosh, I've fallen off track. So we're just gonna chat about this a little bit before I head off to work um, because I need you all, I'm being honest, I need you to hold me accountable. So thumbs up this video if you promise to hold me accountable, please. So in the past, I would fall off track and like sometimes it would be like a day, then like a month goes by, and then like the whole year, and I'm not doing that this time. I am so determined to meet my goals, so I am not gonna just let this go by. I'm gonna correct and get back going. <sighs> Hope that wasn't annoying. And I've also had a lot of coffee this morning, so I'm gonna try to make this video very quick. Okay. So part of the reason why I want to film this video is because I wanna be able to look back. Like, I am determined. I am going to lose 100 pounds. I am going to get to a healthy weight. I am so determined that that is gonna happen. And part of the reason why I really wanna be sure to film this is because if anyone else is going through their own weight loss journey, and if they were to hit a hiccup and they found this channel, I just want them to know like this was not easy peasy, yo. It just wasn't like this is, it's work. It takes work to lose weight. So I'm in week 18. I've lost 29 pounds so far. We'll say last Monday. So I had gotten down to 231.0, right? Last Monday, I was 232.4, 232.4. is the wrong direction. Like your girl is going in the wrong, we've gotta make a U-turn so that we can make continue to make progress and bring it back down. So I just wanna share with you guys a couple things that's been going on. Number one, increased caregiving outside of work for family and grieving. So I talked a little bit about that in the last, um, video but i'm i don't want to go into that into this video but i just got i just want you to know the last two weeks there's been some of that going on to work oh my gosh it's been so busy okay not even like just patient care so most of you know i'm a home health physical therapist and i do like in the home environment i do physical therapy evaluations i do follow-up visits i do discharges but there's also the dreaded and if you're a physical therapist that works home health or even if you're an rn you know the dreaded oasis that admission is oof, h e double hockey stick let's just call it what it is and if you are a um, like if you work for Medicare or if you have anything to do with like the Medicare um, documentation or how you get paid or reimbursed, listen, we're struggling out here. Why do you have to ask the same question over and over again in a different way? It's not going to change my answer. Like I'm giving you the visual picture, visual representation of what my patient's capable of. So like cut that down. It doesn't need to be that long. Like one time. Honestly, like some of the questions was like three times the same thing, but okay, I'm getting off track. <laughs> but if you can change that, then help me out. Um, so work, like I mentioned that Oasis, it is so difficult for me. And usually I think what it is is that as an as a PT, I only get like, like I have some weeks where I don't have any admissions at all. And I love that, love it, I'm here for that. But there are weeks like last week where I had three and it doesn't sound like a big deal but when you have other visits and um, so in the OASIS admission what you're doing is a head to toe assessment of the patient and you're also doing because you have your physical therapy evaluation at the end. So you've also got to do a complete functional assessment of how this patient is doing. So it's like double work and then not only that and I'm not complaining about it. I think it's necessary. I think we need to have this. But then you also have documentation. And that is what kicks my behind. Like trying to get all of that done, it is, oh, it's, it's a lot. Okay, and speaking of work, I've also had um, deadlines like for my own business, like for my personal coaching business. And not complaining about that, but when you have your own business, like there's no one to hold you accountable. So I hired someone to hold me accountable. I have a coach, she's amazing. She's giving me deadlines and guess what I've done? Push them back. I pushed them back like what I am paying her to hold me accountable and I pushed them back now I will say there 
there's good reason but I'm not gonna do that anymore so yeah so work has been really really busy and that's been part of the thing that's throwing me off a little bit too but I'm gonna get back on track let's talk about something else. number three this is probably the biggest thing that I can contribute to why I've just been so off track the last two weeks planning weekly planning is critical for me I am not a like fly by your seat fly by your what is it fly by your seat kind of girl like I need a plan I need to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it like I just I just work so much better like that and I know that about myself but guess what the last two weeks I have not been planning not only have I not been doing like my my um weekly plan like as far as like work and personal life and all of that other stuff but I haven't been scheduling my workouts I have not um I didn't even meal plan I didn't like what how do you think you're gonna lose weight just waking up being like yeah I'll eat this today like oh girl Felicia come on straighten yourself out so we're gonna get back to that I'm gonna work on it um because usually like I, I schedule like my workouts, I schedule what I'm gonna eat, what time I'm gonna eat, like all of that good stuff and I have not been doing it. So I've got, I've got to do better. Um, next, like we're talking about food. Let's talk about number four. Has anyone else noticed like food is more expensive? My grocery budget, listen, I pride myself on keeping that grocery budget under $100 a week. I sure do, not ashamed to say it brings me joy it brings me joy however oh my gosh two things have been going on so i use instacart and walmart pickup and recently like walmart when it's time to come pick up the groceries they're like your order is ready the following things were unavailable usually walmart would do like substitutions and it's not that they're not like trying to help me out i can see if i was getting ketchup then yeah like they can substitute another ketchup brand for that ketchup brand they do it all the time but you guys know i'm mostly eating like produce like veggies and um fruit and meat so like if they don't have it they just don't have it where are they gonna get it from so yeah i get those updates and like that kind of throws me off a little bit because i really don't have enough food during the week to be honest with you that's what's been going on and then the other thing too, the thing too um, is the cost why food has oh my food is more expensive so i've got to bite the bullet i gotta increase the food budget actually to be honest with you guys i don't even need to increase the food budget what i need to do is the food budget really is 200 dollars a week i'm just gonna say it there you got me busted the food budget is 200 dollars a week but i get really excited about bringing it as low as i can because whatever's left i i take that money and put it into an account to save for our next investment property which i really really want so badly but as a result, I don't have enough food, not getting the food that I need, not just not prepared, like skipping meals and then eating popcorn for dinner. You heard it, popcorn for dinner versus what I should be eating, like my 12 ounces of um, veggies. Like, come on, I gotta do better. So that is one thing we're gonna work on too. Okay, so the final thing that I've been struggling with is, you guys know, I've mentioned it multiple times that each day I do 10,000 steps before I start my day. 10,000 steps for me is four miles. Well, has anyone noticed that it's still dark at 6 a.m.? Yeah, it's still, sometimes it's even dark at 6.30. Like, what? Why? I mean, I know why. Like, eventually time's gonna be pushed back, so then it'd be daylight earlier, but for right now, I'm suffering. Like, I need all of that time before I go to work to go out and walk and get my steps in. So, I haven't been doing it. <laughs> why does my brain say oh because you can't do your four miles you can't get all 10,000 steps boo you know and work is busy like don't go try to get two miles maybe or try to get like 5,000 steps why do you have to be all like do it like all or nothing why why that whole perfectionism thing has been killing me the last two weeks and I'm working on that that's actually a goal for 2021 which is also something that's been holding me up in my business is because I want everything to be so perfect that it was causing me to procrastinate if you guys want me to do a video about how perfectionism can cause procrastination and how it can hold you back thumbs up this video and i would be more than happy to do that because i got experience <laughs> i got experience um so yeah like it's been dark so i haven't been going outside i haven't been walking and it's not that like um like i'm not afraid of people i'm afraid of animals <laughs> I'm laughing, but you know what? Hey, some some animal, which I haven't shared with you guys, I shared it on Instagram, but some predator like ate two of our ducks. 
So, well, it took off one and it left one, but it killed it in the process of it. So I don't really want to be out there with those wild animals in the dark. I, I just don't. So that's been holding me back a little bit too, but I have a solution for that. I have a solution. All right, so as I mentioned to you guys, I am not a fly by the seat kind of girl. I like to have a plan. So that is part of what I am going to do to improve my situation. So can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Can't believe I'm saying it. I am going to have you guys hold me accountable. I'm going to start doing weekly weigh-ins on my channel. Ah! Not just weekly weigh-ins, but I'm also going to do weekly meal plans and share with you guys my weekly planning. In my mind, I kind of feel like I can get all of this done in one video, but if that video happens to run too long, then I'll probably put it in two videos. But I just think that by me getting on that freaking scale in front of y'all, <laughs> Get on the scale in front of you guys is gonna hold me accountable. It sure is. Cause you know what? I am the type of girl where I don't like to practice in front of people. Like I like to boom, 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 get it together and then like show up at the race like what, what, what? But no, gonna be gonna be honest, show some vulnerability here. Y'all better give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. <laughs> Cause your girl's getting real, okay? Your girl's getting real. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. And then next, I am really excited about this one because I'm currently limited on time, right? I'm gonna start my running journey. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'll do a whole video about um, starting my running journey, but I'll be sure to share all of that with you guys. But in my mind, I'm thinking that even though I can't get my four miles in every day, then if I start, and not even running, let me stop lying. I'm not gonna be running, jogging. So if I can walk, jog, yeah, walk, jog three miles, then I should be able to burn about the same equivalent as to if I were to walk four miles. I'm kind of thinking that. Maybe, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. And I am treating myself to a haul. I'm gonna buy some new running tanks and some new running shoes. We'll talk about that in a different video. So I'm really excited about that. And and yeah, I hope this video wasn't all over the place because I'm gonna be honest, I really am trying to get it get it done before I head off to work. So I really hope this video was not all over the place, but I am super excited about it. And also regarding my business, I am really excited about the fact that my website should be done like within the next coming week. And it's not gonna be perfect. Like I don't have the perfect photos that I want it for, but I can always go back and replace those later. But I'm so excited about that. And I was actually able to use money that I've made from coaching to pay for the website. Yeah, and also to pay for this haul I'm gonna do for my um, running journey. So that's really exciting. So if you guys would like any coaching in the areas of personal growth, um, budgeting, debt payoff, um, and even weight loss, listen, the links are down in the description bar. Hit your girl up, I'm your girl. Did I just try to sell myself? <laughs> I did, I did. But seriously, I'm really good, really good. Anyways, this video is running too long. I will see you guys in the next video. And in the next video, we will be talking about personal growth. And I think I'm feeling that filming that tomorrow. So it should be uploaded on Sunday. And my plan is to do a premiere. So it shows like when the video um, will go live on Sunday. And then that way we can kind of like chat back and forth. So we can like watch the video together. I can watch it with you guys. And you can comment like in the chat section. And I can comment back. That's so exciting. Um, yeah. All right. Until the next time. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Share, like, subscribe. All of that good stuff. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.